Hello, um, welcome back to our channel. Um, so today I'm going to talk to you about five things that I have started doing in my life to be a bit more eco-friendly. Um, it's a massive topic at the moment and I like to think I'm a bit, big advocate for it. These are just five things that I've installed into my life that I like to do. I'm not saying I'm perfect at it and there are many things more that I have planned I would like to do and probably loads of things I am completely unaware of. Um, so these are the five things. Number one, now this is probably the biggest thing and probably the hardest thing to change. Um, last year I traded my car in, I used to have a KA no, I didn't. That's a complete lie. I used to have a Fiat 500. It was lovely. It was matte black, red leather seats. It was a beautiful car. I loved it. But I traded it in for a Toyota Yaris hybrid. Um, I can't afford a completely electric car, but the hybrid works perfectly for me. It works in the fact that I do still pay for petrol, but a lot less, it lasts a lot longer and it charges itself. So it sometimes runs on electric, sometimes on petrol, depending on what, how I'm driving. <laughs> um, and again, this is a harder thing to like change in your life. It is expensive, but in the long run, it does work out cheaper. Um, yeah, I love it. I love my car. And also it's bigger than my Fiat 500, so it's quite handy for Coda. Um, number two, um, as with lots of people over lockdown, I've been uh, working on my garden a lot more and I grow my own herbs in my kitchen and chilies. Um, in my garden, I've got some strawberries and tomatoes. I even got chamomile plants. So when they're um, blooming, I can make my own tea. So I'm trying to slowly build my own um, food, really. I do want to do some more vegetables and stuff, but I've, it's now gotten too late in the season for me to properly do that. But these are future plans that I'm going to build on. Uh, number three, water. So with plants, you have to water and everything like that. So I've been trying to save on water. So if I boil pasta or if I use, if I boil water for cooking or whatever, usually pasta, I then drain it over um, a washing up bowl and I save that water, let it cool down, use it as uh, water to water my plants. I also put a tub in the bath when I'm about to have a shower. So when the shower is warming up, I collect that excess water. Um, if I know it's going to be a warm day the next day and I have a bath with just salts in, no chemicals or any, like shampoos or whatever, I collect that. Um, which leads quite nicely into step uh, four. My fourth thing is I've switched to bars of shampoo and bars of conditioner. Um, these help me with plastic. I'm trying to get rid of all my single-use plastics. So I'm swapping to bars for shampoo, soap and conditioner. I need to check, uh, this is one thing I want to look into, is whether they are, um, what's the word? Is it biodegradable? Is that the word I'm looking for? Oh no, but when you can use it to water plants as well. Because I know most mainstream shampoos aren't safe and when we went to Namibia they used um, the shower water to water the plants there and we had to get specific um, shampoos for that so I need to check whether they are but that's one thing um, and I've also started making my own deodorant um, it's a bit of a process making it was fine they were all things I had in my cupboard I mean, the Benonite clay was a bit random, but I have that anyway because I like making my own face masks and stuff like that. Um, it's a bit of transition. I mean, 
today's been a boiling hot day and I don't smell at all, which I was a bit nervous about. <laughs> but that works really well. Um, the only issue is because with commercial deodorants, they have a lot of toxins in um, and a lot of metals and stuff like aluminium and stuff like that. Um, I can't think of all the others, but if you look it up, there's so many things going in your body with a mainstream deodorant. You have to detox your armpits before you switch to a natural deodorant. Um, so I have been detoxing while using my new deodorant and I'm having a bit of a reaction at the moment. But if I keep sticking with it, it should be absolutely fine. Um, I decided to make my own deodorant rather than buy a natural deodorant just because... It was cheaper and it's not a roll-on or anything like that it's literally a jar um, I'll show you so it's just a jar with cream I get some on my finger rub it on my armpit and then I'm done and it doesn't leave any marks or anything like that and I'm really happy with it once the irritation clears um, yeah I think it's gonna be brilliant and a lot cheaper and healthier and better for the environment. On my final point, which most people are doing to a certain extent with like reusable bags and everything like that, I use reusable netting bags for veg. So when I go food shopping, everywhere I can, um, I try and buy the loose fruit and veg rather than the ones in plastic. Um, sometimes it's a bit impossible. I went to Asda the other day, they had no loose apples or tomatoes. I was really annoyed. But yeah, I've got these little netting bags. They're quite, you can, I've got them in different sizes for different things. And I try and use that whenever possible. So that's really handy. And yeah, those are just five little things. I've, well, four little things have changed. One, it's a bit bigger, um, that I've tried to, um, apply to my life that's the word I was looking for apply um I'm not saying I'm perfect I'm not saying that um I'm doing everything I can I know there's way more I can do and there are things I do want to try but if you can think of anything else that you think I sh should try in my life to make be a bit more environmentally friendly please let me know um if you enjoyed this video please give it a like I'm, ho I'm thinking I might do a few more videos like this, like go for a zero waste week um, and stuff like that. But sorry, Coda's, <laughs> Coda's playing in the background. So that's a good point to end this. So please give us a like. Please give me a comment if you found it. You're going to try any of these two. Coda! Coach! What's this? What's this? Mmm. What's this? What's this? <gasps> Is it for you? Is it for you? Mmm. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? <gasps> Can I say hello? Um, because <laughs> So yeah, please give me a comment if you can think anything else that I can try um, or if you're going to try any of these or if you enjoyed this sort of video. So give us a like, hit subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you soon.